This is Ian from Lean Media, and one of the services that I often talk about when I'm doing my videos about uh, online selling and online e-commerce is Adobe. And if you do any sort of design work, in my case, I do a lot of PDF design, you, you, you need to use these professional grade products. One thing that happens a lot with Adobe, though, is they're constantly trying to raise the price or to get you to subscribe to services that you don't need so they can charge you more. I'm going to show you a technique that can help you save money on Adobe when they threaten to increase the price. So hope this video helps. You can like it right now, but let's get going. I'm going to show you something really cool that can save you real money. So I just received an email this morning from Adobe saying they're going to be jacking up the price. Let's take a look and see exactly what they're saying. And then I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do to try to counter that. So they said we're going to be raising the price of Acrobat Pro from, from $15 to $20. And just so you know, raising the price from 15 to 20 that's not a 5% rise that's not a 10% rise it's a 33% jump in the price it's ridiculous it's outrageous i don't want to pay this extra money and i'm going to try to cancel the account so either they'll stick with the old price and maybe if they don't let me do that then i'll just cancel the account and that's actually one thing that you should understand you know you should be ready to walk if things aren't working out so let's see what happens here uh, go to my Adobe account or customer support. Let's go to the Adobe account see how this works out. So they're going to force me to sign in. No problem. Continue. Okay, I'm going to manage the plan. And it gives me available actions. Fortunately, I can see Adobe actually makes it relatively easy to get to this step. I've dealt with some companies before that make it really, really hard to cancel, including New York Times, Boston Globe, the online services I've subscribed to in the past. If you want to cancel or change your plan, they force you to talk to a human being on the phone. And of course, you have to call during business hours. They give you some pitch. They talk to you. Even if you just want to cancel the plan, you can't do it online. They force you to talk. Another tactic I've seen for Ancestry.com is they make you jump through a million hoops to get to the button that says cancel the plan. So they really make it difficult. Adobe looks like they're making it easy. So let's see what happens. Cancel the plan. Um, which of these describes your experience? So this is important. I mean, what I actually want is just to keep the old price. And let's see if they'll let me do that. But you have to, you have to let them know what the problem is. So I'm going to say too expensive. 33% uh, jump in monthly pricing is ridiculous couple exclamation points there and let's see what happens when I continue oh we want to help you find the best plan suited for your needs switching to a new product and changing the details of your current plan is fast and easy and you don't have to cancel to do it I don't want to change the plan I want to I want to cancel it because right now actually through Adobe I only have one primary tool that I'm using so there's no I can't really go much lower than that so I can just say no thanks let's see what they say um, canceling your Adobe Pro plan means you'll be losing access to your current pricing. Ooh. As the price of Acrobat Pro has increased, um, you won't be able to do these features. I know that. And your cloud storage will be reduced from 100 gigabytes to 2 gigabytes. I don't care about that because I don't even use Adobe Cloud Storage. I don't like it. So I'm just going to say continue. Uh, Ian, before you decide to cancel, consider these offers. So they say uh, find a plan that's right, right for you. Um, let's chat. Let's check for a custom deal. Keep the same plan for 33% less. Discount for your first year. So they're <laughs> so this is this is great. They told me that they're gonna be jacking up the price to $20 per month. When I threaten to leave, they're dropping the price to $10 per month. So this is exactly what I was looking for. Hmm, sounds pretty good. I'll get the details. Plan details. Um, your new plan will end today, and your your current plan will end today, and your new plan will be start effective immediately. Annual plan paid monthly, ten dollars per month, hundred gigabytes of cloud storage. These are the these are the services that I want. I'm good. So right, I've just say instead of <laughs> before today, I was going to be paying an extra sixty dollars per year for my plan, uh, for a total of let's see what is that uh, two hundred and forty dollars or something like that. Instead, I've just dropped the price to about $120. I think that's a good outcome, but you have to threaten to cancel. That's how it works. 
I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please take a moment to like it and follow me. And also, if you go to leanmedia.org, that's my official website, there's lots more information about publishing, about doing e-commerce. All this information is for free. Just go to blog or video and you can see more information. I'll see you next time.